Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. When I say hey y'all, you usually I say hey YouTube. Anyway, we start here with Chapstick. This is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. That's part of the crazy. I say stuff and then I'm like, why did I say that? The troll because there is no such thing, but also just to make a little bit of fun of the perfection aspect of the beauty community that says, how dare you come on video with no face paint on? Don't feel like, or try not to feel like you need to fit into the industries or any particular person's expectations or standards of what beauty is. So here it is about self-acceptance, self-love, embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to. But again, not feeling like you need to do certain things or wear makeup a certain way or use a particular brand or particular tools to do whatever it is you want to do with your face. We enjoy playing in face paint and it should be fun. So here, wear what you want to wear or don't wear anything, and still just feel confident about it. That's the concept here. I do curse sometimes on my channel, and I do hope that it's not offensive. And I speak that way in real life too, so what you see is who I am and how I roll. I'll show you what else you will see here on this channel. You can tell from the title, we're doing an un unbagging, excuse me, and an unboxing. I received Ipsy yesterday, April 12th. I received my BoxyCharm today, April 13th. And so we're going to open them both. We're going to start with Ipsy. I did open the box. I opened the bag, but I did not take anything out or look in it. And, oh, you know what? They did have a card in it before, but there's not a thing... Is this telling me what's inside of my bag? Because I've never received anything that had inventory of what was inside the bag. So I'm kind of like, that's new. But so far, it looks like it does. This is Farrah Highlight Brush 828F. Full size, retail value $14. Apply your favorite highlight, doubles as an eyeshadow brush. Vegan, cruelty free. Clean it once a week. I clean my brushes after I use them. Um, but it says clean it once a week using mild soap and warm water. So I will wash this brush, and it does say Farrah on it, and 828F on the handle, the ferrule part. And so it'll work. <laughs> Obsidian. <laughs> This is nice to have oh that's not on my card I am so not in tune with how to do this keep growing it says and you've probably seen these in other unboxings and so is it a big deal that I don't do all the details what it is what Ipsy is how much it is I think not anyway so obsidian waterproof eyeliner Kaleido cosmetics oh yeah that is on here I'm like why am I <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm a troll. Um, yeah, if you've ever had streaky liners that crease, melt, and run on you, you can put those beauty bowls behind you. This liner is impressively waterproof and smudge proof and delivers the blackest of black pigment. Give this liner a shake first, then gently pull out the outer corners of your eye. I don't recommend pulling out your eyes. And I know some people do need to do that. Um, if they have like really hooded eyes, but I'm not a fan of that because you see the bags and wrinkles And so I don't want to make those worse anyway, but it says to do that uh, Where am I pull out? The corners of your eyes to create a taut surface, which is why people do that But I still don't recommend it retails for eight dollars for full size um, uh, I'm gonna do a try on not this video because I want to get through this opening this bag and the box but this is what it looks like and it is wrapped in cellophane so just like last month I'll do a try on and try on as much stuff as I can this is the bag these two items were not in the bag and probably because I think it would have fit no the brush would not have fit the eyeliner would have but not inside the box. Okay, so those two were not in the bag. And so the bag does not say anything. I really don't care for these bags. I mean, they are cute, but you know, I have enough bags and it has a nice, you know, flower on here. It says Ipsy on the other side. 
And so people I do give these to really do like them and they are useful. So there are two items. No, there are three items in the bag. The first thing I'm going to pull out. <laughs> You'll know why I'm laughing when I get to it, when I read it. Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to cut my hair today. And also wash it today. Normally I wash it like every two or three days. But definitely after I cut it. Because then there's like the shavings. And it gets everywhere. And it's out of control. Like this. Yeah it, it will not lay down. So I, I'm definitely cutting it today. But I laugh because uh, I don't have no curls. So, I, <laughs> so this will go to somebody. But it says good curl days are in your future. Not in my future. <laughs> This is hilarious to me. This nourishing leave-in conditioner uses a blend of shea butter, avocado oil, and vitamin E to add moisture and shine to curly hair tights, not my hair tight, while helping minimize frizz and flyaways too. Tip, use this from root to tips. I ain't got far to go from my root to the tip. <laughs> if you have thick curls, which I don't, and mid-lengths, which I don't, to tips if you have finer curls. This is a deluxe sample. The full size would retail for $8. The next thing in the bag. <laughs> Rosy Outlook Eyeshadow Palette. Rosy Outlook Eyeshadow Palette. Curated by professional makeup artist. This palette is here. Curated by... Pro okay, let me just keep reading. This palette is here to make doing your favorite eye makeup looks totally stress-free. Okay, there's four shades in here, so I guess it could be your favorite look if it's kind of the same one, because you don't have many options. The ultra flattering berry shades are long lasting and won't crease on your lids either. Tip, mix and match these shadows to shade, highlight, and contour your lids like a pro. Deluxe sample, full size retails for $30. The last thing in the bag, I really like having an invoice sheet and an inventory sheet. Same thing, inventory invoice. I like having an information page. Why did I just say that a third time in a different way? Because I need to take a shower. I walked the park today. It takes an hour to walk the park. It's about three miles and I came home a sweaty mess. Anyway, this says Dear Beach. What is it with that? Just say bitch. Anyway. Where are we on the paper? <laughs> Dear Beach Glassy Lip Oil, a must for dry lips. This super hydrating oil leaves your pout feeling silky smooth thanks to a blend of all natural jojoba oil, olive oil, and metal foam oil. I've never heard of metal foam oil. Have you heard of that? Inquiring minds wanna know. Plus the fast absorbing formula never leaves gooey or sticky either. I'm sorry, never feels gooey or sticky either. Tip, layer a little bit of this oil over your go-to lipstick for hydration and shine. Deluxe sample, full size, retails for $25. Okay. We're going to see. But it says, you know what, over your lipstick. That's strange to me. Because don't lip oils usually just go over your lips? So I did just open it. So why not just put it on your lips? It, it smells, it doesn't smell. Jojoba oil, olive oil, and metal foam oil. It smells fruity. It feels nice, but why over a lipstick? Why not just on your lips? And how is putting a lip oil on top of your lipstick going to hydrate your lips? Am I overthinking? It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, that was everything for Ipsy. Moving on to BoxyCharm. As I said, I did open it earlier. Well, I cut the tape, but I didn't open it. So we're opening it for the first time. You all know what the inside of the box looks like. BoxyCharm boxy spring revival um 
I'm not sure how to read the numbers. I don't know. 2204097. This is a base box. So, let's see. First thing I'm going to pull out of here QMS Meta Cosmetics Epigen Deep Puff Pollution Shield Eye Serum. That was a mouthful. For those of us who <laughs> stumble over our words and don't edit it out because why it's entertaining i think if not let me know and i'll start editing more <laughs> this is a protective eye serum with epigenic peptide depuffing actives and a cool tip ceramic applicator for an awakened youthful look suitable for all skin types we're going to see about that retails woohoo retails for 110 dollars we're going to take the lid off. It does just pop off. And this is what it looks like. Damn. That's a lot of freaking money. And it's 0.5 fluid ounces. So you, And that's typical. Usually eye serums are half ounce. And so $110. The next thing pulling out of here. Seattle London. Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer. I already have like three or is it four primers to use from Ipsy. This is getting out of control already. This is what the component looks like. Prep skin for flawless dewy makeup application with a cushiony texture. This primer provides a luminous glow with a dewy glass-like finish. Formulated with brightening vitamin C for a dragon. I'm sorry. Formulated with brightening vitamin C and dragon fruit extract, hydrating hyaluronic acid, moisture boosting user extract, and nourishing vitamin E to create a smooth and hydrated canvas that glows all day. Retail value is $32. This may go somewhere, and I'm only saying that because, as I said, I have either three or four other primers from Ipsy and BoxyCharm from before, and I'm not going to open them all at the same time. Um, it's good for uh, 12 months. The eye serum is good for six months. Wow, that's not a long time for that. I didn't say how much the other stuff was good for. This is from Ipsy, though, the, <laughs> the hair stuff. It's good for 24 months, which is awesome. That will definitely go somewhere. The next thing I'm going to pull out of here, I don't know how to pronounce it. A-T-H-R, a Terra Beauty, I don't know. Big Bang Mascara. So let's open this just to see. It doesn't say how long it's good for. This is what the component looks like. The Ultimate Lash Maximizing Black Diamond Infused Mascara that truly really does it all for out of this world length, volume, curl, and definition. Retail's value is $28. So that's that. The next thing we're going to pull out of here. Lucky Chick Liquid Eyeshadow. So let's open that up. This The color is Rose Quartz. It's good for 12 months. And this is what that looks like. This gorgeous metallic pink shade creates a beautiful tone while radiating a subtle shimmery glow. It is lightweight, long-lasting, and has the right amount of shine and luster. Wear a thin layer on the lids or build it up for a more dramatic look. Layering this soothing cucumber, or is it cucumber? Enriched eyeshadow makes it perfect for all day wear. Some people say cucumber, some people say cucumber. So which is it? Just how some people say coupon and some say coupon. When I look at the spelling, coupon would be how you spell it because cu is C-O-U-P. So just with the O in it would be coupon and not coupon. I know I went on a rant. I was raised saying coupon and someone asked me like, where are you from? Because some region said this way that way. And when I thought about it, I'm like, it does spell like it would be coupon. And so now when I see cucumber, I'm like, is it cucumber instead of cucumber? <laughs> oh, the, the troll be thinking and overanalyzing, I think, sometimes. Retail values for $22. That's that one. The last thing in here, Futures So Bright Eyeshadow Palette, Nine Shadows of Mattes and Shimmers. That's this. Brightest Days Ahead. I'm reading the back of the box. Bring a new outlook with these jewel-inspired shades that will spark a new attitude. Creamy, buildable matte and shimmer shades wear alone or layer for endless looks. Opening the box. 
opening this, taking this out. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this is complex culture, the same as. <laughs> I think the color is packaging as it is. Um, yeah, so CC, complex culture. Oh, what is all of this? So there's this and then there's. So this says, bring out a new outlook with these jewel tone inspires. That's the same thing said in the back of the box. Retail values for $30. So this is this. I, it does have a scent to it. Um, and that reminds me of the Persona 2, the Persona Identity 2 palette. And I had a reaction to it. And so I'm, I'm not sure. I kind of want to try it just to try it dermatologist test it which doesn't mean anything because it wasn't tested on me um it doesn't say yes it does it's good for 12 months um i'm gonna try it only because i'm sitting here talking and breathing all over it and <laughs> i don't know if that's hygienic so yeah so when i do my try on i am going to try this so that'll be it for this video thank you for watching and let me know what you think if you had or used any of these products and you will see me in the next one thank you